Warning, this video is created for the educational use and to show the various techniques of the wireless penetration testing. Using this information for the malicious activity can send you behind the jail. In this video, we have used our own router for the demonstration, so don't be a fool and act smartly. Okay, and we will start hacking this router again without the client connected to it. So now what I am going to do is I will disconnect my Windows machine as well. Now let's try to see the available interfaces and the available interfaces is WN0 Mon. It means the monitor mode is already enabled. Now what I am going to do is I will simply run the scan again. Arrow dump ng and the interface is WN0 Mon and it will again make the search for the available routers around us. Now let's press the control C and we are going to hack test AP again. So for that you remember the step that is to gather the complete information about this particular AP. Okay, so let's type in the command called error dump ng dash test bssid and the bssid of the test AP is this that is 84 colon and so on and the channel is 11. And we are going to write all the data into a file called PNP and the interface is going to be the WN0 Mon which is the monitor mode enabled interface. So hit enter and now they can see guys data packets are not increasing and we have no client connected to this router. Now how do we gonna hack this particular router? So for hacking this particular router, what I am going to do is I will try to fake authenticate to this particular router. So this is the feature in the aircrack ng that it allows you to connect to the router via fake authentication. It means you won't be really connected to that particular router, but you will be fake connected to that particular router. Okay, so how do we gonna do the fake authentication? So for doing the fake authentication, you need to type in a command called air replay ng. And remember, this is the command which we have used for the deauthentication attack as well. So I will simply type in here fake auth. And the access point is going to be the BSSID this. Now the access point is this. That is 84 colon 1B. Now we need to fake authenticate our Kali Linux machine. So let's check out our Kali Linux MAC address. So before we go ahead, let's check out fake MAC address to our USB Wi-Fi adapter because few minutes ago I have already told you that if you are going to attack on any Wi-Fi then it's always good to change your original MAC address. So right now I am capturing the data on the WN0 MON. So I will keep this device down for a while WN0 mon down and hit enter now it is down and that's why it is saying WN0 is down so it is not able to capture the packets okay now I am going to make the use of command called Mac changer and the option is random I wanted to assign the random Mac address to it and I am going to assign this Mac address to the WN0 mon hit enter and now they can see guys it is saying insufficient permission so it may happen that we cannot change the MAC address while that device is into the monitor mode let's copy our original MAC address and put this interface up that is ifconfig wn0 mon up hit enter and they can see guys wn0 mon is up now and it is capturing the beacons as well it means it is up now so now what I'm going to do is I have copied my own MAC address I am going to fake auth to this router and there it is my MAC address now what I will do is I will simply type in here WN0 mon now when I will hit enter then it will gonna fake authenticate with with this router that is test AP so hit enter and they can see invalid re-authentication delay or missing value that value should be 
greater than zero so now i am fake authenticated to this particular wi-fi router now what i will do is i will try to increase the ivs so for increasing the iv i will use a command called air replay ng with the arp replay attack okay so let's type in here air replay ng with attack called arp replay and that will gonna inject the packet into the router and increase this data okay so let's type in here rest of the things and i am going to inject the packet into the router called 841b so simply copy this psid and this is the actually access point h for the fake authenticated device so our fake authenticated device mac address is this so let's copy that mac address and paste up here now what i will do is i'll simply specify the interface and the interface is wn0 mon what this command will gonna do is it will gonna inject the packet into this wi-fi router via our mac address okay so let's hit enter and see the magic and now it is saying please specify the bssid so let's type in here b instead of the a and you can see guys now it is trying to send the packet into this router now let's see if it can increase the ivs here and you can see guys it has started increasing the ivs and the data packets are increasing very rapidly and this is the device which is increasing the data packets that is f4 f2 which is our fake authenticated device and you can see this is the amount of frames which are increasing and now we will again wait up to the 10,000 ivs and then launch this attack and this is my device that is 7802 it was automatically got connected and this is actually my mobile phone but right now this is not connected all the frames are increased by this particular MAC address. Okay guys, so it has captured 5200 IVs and we are waiting for 10,000 IVs. So let me pause my recording till we captured the 10,000 IVs. Okay guys, so here it has captured the 10,000 IVs. Now it's time to launch the air crack NG attack. Okay, so let's open up the terminal and then type in here air crack NG and the name of the file and the file name was start01.cap. So hit enter and let's see if we are able to decrypt the password or not. So they can see guys we have got the password and the password is same as the previous attack so we don't need to verify that password again 